I think all the soloing he's done has trained his mind. He doesn't get emotionally affected by it the way that a lot of people do. And not knowing about the science of that is that's probably a product of your past more than it is just a genetic thing. There's been a lot of speculation about like how I deal with fear and like how I'm able to free soul. People are just like, oh, well, he must be a thrill seeker. There must be something defective. So the writer contacted me about doing an MRI. I thought it's kind of cool just to go get an MRI and like see what's actually going on. You know, scan your brain and then see if it's all there structurally. We're gonna start the task now. Remember to press the button every time you see a new picture come up, okay? Okay. We'll see, maybe it turns out on some kind of freak creature or something. I've had several ex-girlfriends say that I had like, personality disorders or things like that. There's something wrong with me. Emotionally stable. Agree. Ingenious, a deep thinker. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> Tends to find fault with others. Agree somewhat. <laughs> Climbing a steep mountain would be too scary for me. I have trouble controlling my impulses. <laughs> Is depressed. Hmm. Is my, is my brain intact? Your brain's intact, and it's, it's quite interesting. Those little two dots that are further towards the top of the screen, that's the amygdala. So an interesting thing, do you have no activation <laughs> in your amygdala? There's just not much going on in my brain, it seems. <laughs> uh, do you think my amygdala actually just doesn't work or something? Your amygdala works. It's just that it needs a much higher level much of stimulation. Stimulant. Things that are typically stimulating for most of the rest of us are not really doing it for you. Maybe my amygdala is just tired, you know, from too many years of being all gripped.